Hello, it's Adam here again from Music Radar, and today I am looking at something new from Ableton. Uh, this is the new Drift Synth, um, which is going to be included in Ableton Live 11.3. Amazingly, it's going to be included for free with all versions of Ableton Live. Um, so that includes standard and suite, uh, and even light and intro, if you've got those. At the moment, uh, Live 11.3 is in public beta, which is what I'm running here. And yeah, Drift is definitely the main headline edition. So I only got my hands on this today. This is going to be a very quick first look at some of the features, and I'm going to play some of the presets so you can hear what kind of sounds it can make. Uh, let's start with what Drift is. As the name might imply, it's an analog style uh, synthesizer. Uh, with the Drift name being that it's designed to replicate the kind of drift and wobble and imperfections of that analog gear. So the oscillators slightly drifting and the filters shifting and things like that, um, which actually sounds really lovely. It's not based on any one particular synth or trying to recreate anything like that exactly, but it is Ableton's take on that kind of analog modeling type thing. So here it is with the typical uh, Ableton style minimalist interface. You can see straight away it's got two oscillators here. Uh, it's got this main oscillator one with a range of uh, wave shapes and then oscillator two is going to be sub oscillator. Uh, as a default is set up like this. And it's got the main oscillator and then a sub coming in lower. Within each of these uh, basic waveforms, you have a shape uh, control, which does different things depending on uh, the waveform you selected. And it gives you a really handy little window down here, which shows the, the shape that you're making, uh, which is a nice little visual reference. Uh, so for this triangle wave, you can see how the shape uh, reacts to that there. I'm just going to turn off the sub oscillator for now. So we've just got that one. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got kind of a, uh, a ramp kind of wave here. We've got a pretty standard square wave with the shape there doing the pulse width modulation. So it's a very basic demonstration of what drift is doing. Uh, I'm going to use this drift control over here. Uh, I'm going to turn back on that sub oscillator and just turn the filter down a little bit. just so it's not so harsh on the ears. So right at the bottom with Drift on naught, you're gonna get uh, a really basic tone with no movement. But then as I increase this Drift control, uh, let's ramp it up quite high there. You should be able to hear some very subtle variations. So yeah, very subtle, but I'm only using some very basic shapes at the moment. So that'll come more into play uh, as you start changing things more and make some more complex sounds. Moving on to the rest of the front panel here, you've got a filter with two different modes. Um, mode two with the uh, harsher slope there. And you've got a key tracking control there as well. You've also got a resonance control, of course, uh, and a high pass filter there with this nice little graph in the middle so you can see what's happening. You've got two ADSR envelopes. Uh, over here, you've got an LFO with all the controls you need for that. Uh, again, it gives you a nice little graph there, and you can uh, change the LFO to different shapes. Over on this tab, you've got some modulation options with a uh, drop down for selecting those, um, whether that's your envelope, your LFO, etc. And then on the far right, you've got your global controls uh, with the drift control, as I mentioned before, uh, various velocities and transpose and things like that. You've also got a mode switch, which is quite nice. So these can have some big impacts on your sound. Uh, you've got mono and poly um, for playing single notes or multiple notes. Uh, stereo, which will split the various voices, uh, which you can choose how many voices it's using down here. Um, it will spread those across the stereo field. And then lastly, a unison mode, um, which is going to detune the voices ever so slightly to give you those big fat unison sounds. So just to demo those super quickly, poly is and then mono is for your kind of leads and basses. And then we've got stereo. Um, actually stereo has this control here which controls the stereo spread. So let's just demo that a little bit. If you're listening to headphones or on decent monitors you'll be able to hear this. And 
in unison is the detuned voices. <laughs> So yeah, very simple on the surface, um, lots of things you'll be familiar with if you've done synthesis before, um, but some nice little touches in there that are going to just elevate it to the next level. Um, and you can get some really massive, lovely sounds out of it. So what I'm going to do now is just load up a few presets uh, as a little sound demo, and we'll hear some of the different sounds that Drift is capable of. So yeah, a really nice range of sounds there, um, from more modern stuff to that very classic uh, analog synth vibe. To me, it definitely feels a bit more alive, a bit more analog than those uh, classic digital synths. Uh, so yeah, definitely give it a go. It's really fun to play with. And if you're already an Ableton uh, Live user and owner, then um, you'll be getting it for free, which is fantastic. <laughs> 